Let's get right into it. The first app is called Zone Launcher. It's an invisible edge tool and it allows you to quickly launch your favorite app or even your favorite shortcut with just one swipe no matter where you are. The best part is that it allows you to create zones and quickly jump into them. Think of these zones like folders and you can name them as you know work or social or banking etc. And each zone then has a set of apps that you define. For example, I just created one called messaging and I can put in messenger and whatnot. It's called zone launcher. The free version allows you only a couple of apps and shortcuts to be placed and just two zones to be customized. And by the way, the developer was kind enough to give me 25 promo codes as giveaway to you guys. So if you want full access to zone launcher, follow me on Instagram, send me a DM asking for zone launcher promo code. I'll give it away first come first serve basis. And before I talk about the next app, guys, I'm trying to reach 200,000 subscribers and I'm going to need your support to get there. So make sure you drop a like, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. And thanks for doing that. Now let's talk about the second app. And now coming to the second app in the list is a new camera app by Adobe Photoshop. So it's got some really interesting and unique uh, filters. And then every filter has multiple effects within that filter set. So, you know, let's say there's food, there's scenery, there's blue skies, and then they will in itself have multiple effects. And here are some pictures that I took using this app. Some people liked it and some people thought it was too fake. But again, you know, you can't please everyone. So different people had different reactions. And now see, from the same spot, I could change the skies and I can make it as bizarre as this. So point being that it's, it's pretty accurate and it's pretty interesting. It may not be for everyone, but definitely worth a shot. For different things, you need different kind of note templates, and that's where Grid Note comes in really handy. For example, there's this goal setting worksheet. It's a template that's built right into the app, so you can just pick it up and you can start using it. There's stand-up meeting notes, uh, which you might find helpful. There's today's diet record. And the library is pretty extensive. You can create your own if you want. So just tap on the plus sign, select a new note type, and you know give it a name for example i created this shopping list it's really handy because you know when you go shopping you try you know you go into different shops and then you're like wait what did i want to buy from this one and then there's task board so you know every day i have like tasks which i have categorized as priority one two three four and five and there are tasks within it there are also a couple of formatting tools that you get so you know your notes can look nicer and better organized a couple of those are uh, locked and only available for premium users, but even the ones you get free, they're enough to get you started. You can create and attach labels so that you know, everything's well sorted. You can create notebooks, multiple notebooks, and you can see all your notes together. The next one is Walnut, a wallpaper app, and it's unique in its collection. It mostly offers wallpapers that are inspired by shapes, patterns, and nature, but they're redeveloped using bright material colors and really beautiful gradients. Needless to say, they're all really high quality and they look absolutely vibrant on your phone. And you can see some samples of here and how they look. And if something like this interests you, go get it. Now, how cool would it be if you could just create a reminder from your notification tray and that reminder sits on your notification tray every time you see it? I mean, it's really that simple. There you go. It's right there. Remind something. With this app, you can set multiple reminders. So for example, I've got three over here and you can then just unpin them once you're done with it. The app is called Pin It. So it says, you know, create and pin notifications and it's completely free. The interface is really easy to use and the entire app is just simple. You know, you just tap on that toggle over there, create a pinned reminder and it just gets attached to your notification tray. I am a sucker for gradient colors, be it wallpapers or icon packs. And a new icon pack is around the block called Bladiant Icon Packs. Colorful, punchy and really classy gradient. It's got about 3000 app icons, which should cover about 70% of icons that you have on your phone. Of course, they'll continue to develop more. The app comes with some matching wallpapers that go really well with the icon pack. And so definitely check it out. Also, I'm going to soon do a video on my favorite icon packs and I'll be giving away 50 promo codes for Bladiant icons. So make sure you follow and watch out for that video. And a quick shout out to Mobile Trans that allow you to transfer, backup and restore your WhatsApp messages in just one click between any two devices. It's an extremely easy and reliable setup, so definitely check it out. And there is a discount code in the description below. 
It's important that you back up your device every now and then so that all data remains with you and even if your phone gets lost or you, you know, some data gets corrupted, you've got something to rely on and you can just restore everything back onto your phone or onto your new phone. That's where Swift Backup comes into play. You can back up all your apps, messages and call logs and store it all on either a cloud storage service like Dropbox or Google Drive and then you can schedule an automatic backup procedure and define what all should get backed up every day or every week or every month at a specified time. So you get a lot of these customization options. So you know, what kind of apps do you want to back up? What data within the app you want to back up? But do note that if you want private app data to be saved, like login details and app settings, you'll have to root your phone, which you don't necessarily have to do. All other app data would be still backed up, which you can use to restore. The free version lets you back up apps one by one, but if you have the pro version, you'll be able to batch back up all apps together. And you can also create schedules, which is the whole point that, you know, just creates a backup every now and then. So you'll need premium uh, or pro version to do that. And so that you guys don't have to spend money in getting the full version, the developer was kind enough to give me 30 promo codes to give away to you guys. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, send me a DM asking me a promo code for Swift backup and I'll reach out to you first come first serve basis. Anyway, that's it from me guys, top seven apps for the month of July, 2020. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you.